Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So if you're rocking a Samsung S25 Ultra, you're in for a treat today. I've got 10 hidden tips and tricks that'll take your experience to the next level, from smart sound control to advanced photo privacy. So there's something here for every Samsung user. So if you find even one tip helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below with your favorite features. It helps the channel and I'd love to hear from you. So let's dive in. So feature number one is where you have separate app sound. So on your Samsung S25 Ultra, the separate app sound allows you to play audio from one app like Spotify or YouTube through a separate device like a Bluetooth device while keeping all other sounds like notification or game audio on the phone. So this is perfect for multitasking, streaming music to your speaker while scrolling TikTok or gaming without mixing audio. No more audio chaos. So let me show you how to turn this feature on. So first you wanna go ahead and bring down the quick panel menu, tap on settings. Next, you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find sounds and vibration. Now from here, you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find separate app sound, which is right here. Turn this feature on. So now here, you wanna go ahead and choose what app you want to allow playing from your Bluetooth device. So go ahead and choose, so I've chosen YouTube. And now here, you wanna go ahead and choose your preference. So you wanna play YouTube through your phone or through the Bluetooth device. So you can go ahead and choose whatever you like. So now when you go ahead and play YouTube from your phone, that audio from that YouTube will only be played on that Bluetooth device. While on your phone, you can go ahead and just play something else like TikTok, and you can basically separate the sound. Feature number two is where you can hide the time and the top bar in screenshots. So here, if you take a screenshot, when you look at your screenshot, you'll see that you have your time and your top bar here. However, if you don't want that in your screenshot, then let me show you how to turn it off. So to turn this off, you wanna go ahead and bring down the quick panel menu, tap on settings. Next, you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find advanced features. Now from here, you wanna go ahead and find screenshot and screen recordings. Now here, you wanna go ahead and find hide status and navigation bar. So go ahead and turn this feature on. Now when you take a screenshot, you'll see that screenshot without a top bar. So there's no more time, no more notifications, and no more icons which are visible on your screenshot. So this gives your screenshot a clean, professional look, perfect for sharing on social media, presentations, or tutorials. Feature number three is where you can test your Samsung S25 Ultra with the diagnostics. So on your Samsung S25 Ultra, you have a built-in diagnostic tool to test all your phone's hardware, camera, speakers, mic, sensors, and etc. So you can quickly spot hardware issues, Great if your phone isn't behaving or you're buying or selling a used device. So let me show you how to do this. So there are two ways you can access diagnostics. You can one, the first way is by opening up your settings and you can go ahead and search for diagnostics. So this will be in device care. So go ahead and scroll down and find device care. Now you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find diagnostics. So here you can go ahead and find phone diagnostics and you can run this. So this will basically go through with all the checks, all the features of your phone and will check if it's working properly or not. So as you can see, there are 22 tests left. So it'll check your battery, NFC, SIM, power restart status, official software, mobile network sensors, and many more. Now the second way of testing your Samsung phone or running the diagnostics on the phone, you wanna go ahead and open up the members app for this, you'll require a Samsung account. Now next, you wanna go ahead and tap on the support tab. Now here, you wanna go ahead and find phone diagnostics. And then from here, you wanna go ahead and test all these features. So as I said before, you can quickly spot hardware issues. And it's great if you're having issues with your battery, maybe your SIM or your sensors, you can basically use this tool to test it all out. Feature number four is where you can mute calls with gesture. So on your Samsung S25 Ultra, you can silence incoming calls by simply flipping your phone or placing your hand over the screen. So let me show you how to do this. So first you wanna go ahead and open up the quick panel menu, tap on settings. Next, you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find advanced features. Now from here, you wanna find motion and gesture. So it's right here. And now here you wanna go ahead and turn on mute with gesture. So it's right here. So this will mute incoming calls and alarms by putting a hand over the screen or turning the phone facing down. So turn that feature on. So now when you get a phone call, you can go ahead and just flip it 
or you can go ahead and put your hands over it and that will basically mute your calls. So you can basically seamlessly mute your phone calls in a meeting or public places without even touching any button on a Samsung S25 Ultra. Feature number five is where you have the old style seek bar for your video player. So on your Samsung S25 Ultra, if you want to switch back to the classic video player layout with a simpler seek bar, then let me show you how to do this. So in order to do this, you want to go ahead and first open up gallery. Next, you want to go ahead and tap on menu and then go ahead and tap on settings. Now you want to go ahead and scroll down and find about gallery. Here you want to go ahead and tap multiple times on this version number until you see a menu which says Gallery Labs has been enabled. Go back and then you'll get this new menu appear called Gallery Labs. Tap on this. Now from here, you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find Video Player Mode on Film Strip. So as you can see by default, if I put down default and I close Gallery and restart it, so this is how the get the default is looking like where you can basically scroll or scrub through this video by moving your video file from left to right. If you want the seek bar, the legacy seek bar, you need to go ahead and tap on menu, tap on settings. Now you want to go ahead and scroll down and find gallery labs as we have enabled this. Scroll down again and find video player mode on film strip. And here you want to go ahead and set it to legacy video seek bar. Go ahead and tap OK. And now go back. Now when you look at your video, you'll see this legacy seek bar where you can basically drag it to any point you like. And you know that movie is finishing as well by looking at the dot. So it's easier for scrubbing for precise video playback. It's great for watching tutorials or long videos on your Samsung S25 Ultra. Feature number six is where you can save photo as PDF. So on your Samsung S25 Ultra, you can convert any image or photo into a PDF directly from your phone. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll first go ahead and open up gallery. And now here we'll go ahead and first open up menu, then tap on settings. Now, if you've been watching this video till now, you should have gallery labs opened already. However, if you haven't, go ahead and open up about. Go ahead and tap multiple times on the version number until you see Gallery Labs has been enabled. Go back and you'll see this new menu called Gallery Labs. Tap on this. Now you want to go ahead and scroll down and find an option where it says Save as PDF. Go ahead and turn this feature on. Go back. Now you want to go ahead and open up an image. So for example, this one here. Now let's just say I want to create a PDF out of these statues here. So we'll go ahead and select three PDFs or three photos. We'll tap on create and then we get this option where it says save as PDF. Tap on this. Now we can go ahead and choose the order. We want a default order or reverse order. So we'll go ahead and choose reverse. And now a PDF has been created. So now we can go ahead and tap on the three dots and we can save it as a file and we can go ahead and save it as a PDF. Go ahead and choose where you want to save it. Give it a name and then save. So this is ideal for sharing documents, receipts, ID photos, or artwork in a professional format from your Samsung S25 Ultra. Feature number seven is where you can lock photo albums using biometrics. So on your Samsung S25 Ultra, you can have selected albums and you can get protected using your fingerprint or face unlock. So let me show you how to do this. So first you wanna go ahead and open up gallery. Next, you wanna go ahead and turn on the feature. So you wanna first go to menu. Next, you wanna go ahead and tap on settings. Now you want to go ahead and scroll down and find about gallery. Here you need to tap multiple times on the version number until you see gallery lab has been enabled. Once enabled, you'll get this secret menu called gallery labs. Tap on this. Now from here, you want to go ahead and find the option to lock your album. So here you need to go ahead and find this album entry lock. So go ahead and turn this feature on. Once turned on. So say for example, I want to lock this album here, the quick share album, which I've created. I'll go ahead and long press on it. And then I'll go ahead and tap on more and then go ahead and tap on lock album. Now, once I lock it, you'll see a padlock to access it. I'll go ahead and tap on this. I can go ahead and use my fingerprint or face, or I can use my pin. So I'll go ahead and use my fingerprint. So this will unlock it and I can basically see all those files. If I go back, this basically lock it again. So this is the ultimate privacy setting for some sensitive photos. So no one gets access, but only you. 
Feature number eight is where you can add album shortcuts to home screen. So on your Samsung S24 Ultra, you can pin specific albums directly to your home screen for quick access. So let me show you how to do this. So first you wanna go ahead and open up gallery. Next, you wanna go ahead and tap on menu at the bottom right. And now here you can go ahead and access any of these. So for example, video, favorites, recent, or location. So I'll go ahead and access favorites. Now if I wanna turn this favorite album into a shortcut on my home screen, I can go ahead and tap on the three dots and then go ahead and tap on add to home screen. So this will basically add that album to my home screen. So as you can see, it has now added it. So to access it, I can just go ahead and tap on this and I can go ahead and access this. Another example, let's just say if you tap on album and then go ahead and tap on screenshots. And let's just say you want this album as a shortcut on your home screen. You can go ahead and tap on the three dots and then tap on add to home screen. This will now show up as this one by one icon, tap on add, if you press home, your icon has been set. So a screenshot shortcut has been set on your home screen. So you can go ahead and tap on this and then you can quickly access your photos. So this basically saves time, instantly jump into your favorite photo albums like screenshots, downloads, or family photos. Feature number nine is where you can view all your media categories. So on your Samsung S25 Ultra, you can browse all your media files by categories like video, screenshots, selfies. So let me show you how to see this. So first you wanna go ahead and open up your gallery app. Next you wanna go ahead and tap on search. And now here you wanna go ahead and scroll down all the way until you see short type categories. So here you can go ahead and see videos, selfie, pro, slow motion, single takes, dual recording, panorama, raw, super slow motion, portrait, hyperlapse, burst, GIF, scan, portrait, and motion. So if you go ahead and tap on any of them, they'll show you exactly what it is. So this is super easy to find what you're looking for. No more endless scrolling through your galleries. Even at the, at the top here, you even have AI edited. So anything that is created by AI, it basically shows up. If you have edited, it'll show you edited photos. If you have private albums, this will show you private albums as well. And lastly, feature number 10 is where you can vibrate on pickup and end calls on your Samsung S25 Ultra. So on your Samsung S25 Ultra, when a call comes in, your phone will vibrate when you pick up a call and when it ends as well. So even if the screen is off. So this way you never miss the start or end of a call. So this is great for noise environment or if your phone's in your pocket. So as an example, when you get a call, you can go ahead and press pick up. However, for sometimes you don't know if you really pressed it or not. With that vibration indicator, you can basically sense that you have picked up that call and then you can go ahead and start talking. Now, when you have end the call, sometimes you don't know if it's actually ended. However, with the vibration indicator, it basically tells you it has now ended the call. So let me show you how to turn this feature on. So first go ahead and open the call app. Next, tap on the three dots and then tap on settings. Now here you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find call alerts and ringtone. From here, find these options here. So vibrate when answered and vibrate when end calls. Turn this feature on. So now when you answer a call, it'll vibrate. And now when you end a call, it'll vibrate as well. And there you have it. 10 awesome S25 Ultra features that most people don't even know about. Which one blew your mind the most? Personally, I love the photo album lock and the app sound separation. That is a total game changer. So drop a comment below and let me know your favorite. Smash that like button if you learned something new. And if you love these tips like this, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the next one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.